Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. Uh, this Wednesday uh, I've decided to show you these new Orc models. It's uh, they're the Orc Flash Gits. At first I just thought they were normal Orcs with big weapons, but they're not. They're kind of knob size. Now if you don't know what a knob is, don't Google it. <laughs> um, a knob is like a large orc. Orc spelled O-R-K. And an orc is is the normal kind of foot soldier of, of a of an orc race. Um, you do get Gretchen or uh, snots as they're called. Um, they're like the, the, the really small um, kind of like orcs in a way. Same race. And then you get orcs and you get knobs and you may even get mega knobs and um, then you get a war boss and a warlord and yeah so on you also get these little creatures usually two they've got two feet and usually not any arms and just a big mouth and a big eye and they're called squigs anyway history lesson over history lesson <laughs> lesson over this is the one of their newest box sets i think it came out last weekend so i'm a week behind See, I've just bought it, £32. I think they need a new gun or something, new sticker, sticker gun. But I'm like, gonna do my unboxing and review. Uh, I went for these instead of the Orkanaut or Gorkanaut. Uh, I just did. I mean, I will get a, a Gorkanaut at some point, but I wanted to get these models because they had them in the shop and uh, I just really like the look of them. So I'm using my newest knife, the Spyderco. Spy DK. Uh, with me, it's I'm I'm always torn between uh, three three main hobbies: uh, knife collecting, my motorbike, uh, and Warhammer, and sometimes video gaming as well. I've got a few games. So we're gonna open this up. And I'll show you what's inside. I mean, I'll show you the back of the box. You got a nice array. They look very piratey. Why are orcs green? Because they are. No. That's what you'd imagine these to, to say. And these have some very decent weapons. Um, orcs are just a fun army. They look fun. They play fun. They're not a deadly serious, you know, tower army that shoot from the back and <clears throat> you know have high ballistic skill and high powered weaponry they're just a fun army and what's what are you, what's your main goal in all this unless you're playing competitively for money or anything like that it's to have fun so when I saw the models in the shop I was quite uh, intrigued because they look bigger so they were actually knob size and um, you get your five bases and they're quite largest bait large ish bases I'd say they're terminator size bases uh, what else do you get <clears throat> that's it for the box get your instructions I'm not that much of a fan of the guy with the pistol to be honest think you get an array of parts there you go shows you the instructions uh, now this this set is thirty two pounds. I didn't, I don't think I mentioned that, but it is thirty two. It's quite a lot of money, really. Um, I think the your stone guard is about about this much, or your vanguard. Uh, quite large models, you can see. I'll go through each sprue one by one for you. Yeah, probably be best this this side. So I've you got some heads. There's a little squig, another head, got the actual legs and torsos, kind of like the frames for the guns, and um, you've got different ammo coming out, different vents, different fronts, more heads. Like an ammo pack on the back. A very another similar sprue with different end gun end options, barrel options, 
different heads, different torsos and legs, another arm, some ammo, I like the uh, those those casings being ejected out of the out of the gun. And finally this one, which should have the final legs and torso. It's got plenty of armour plates. Don't know whether you can give them heavy armour though, I'm not sure. I haven't read too much into the codex. More heads and arms. More barrel ends and some casings there. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, do you get that much? I mean, they're now pushing, uh, you know, uh, you know me, I won't complain, I'll just observe and, and comment on what I see and I mean this is, this. there's a lot of bits there, a lot, they're all numbered, you've got your instructions uh, and they look pretty cool, but you're now venturing into £32 for five models, um, I know they're big, I know they're bigger than a, no, your normal models, but that's that's kind of like the rain we're getting into. Um, I mean, it might it might be ten years before we start after paying forty pounds for for five models, or it might be in the next five years. It it depends um, on a lot of things, but that is what it is. It's it's thirty two pounds five models, but the models are are pretty awesome uh, looking at least. So join me in part two when you'll see all of these five uh, flash kits constructed and built in the way that I would like them to be built. And here are the models uh, complete. These are the flash kits. I really really like these models. I think they're excellent models uh, that Games Workshop have produced. Um, if you straight away, if you're on the fence about getting them, get them is what I'm going to say because they will impress you. Uh, the, the box and what they look like on the store isn't, it didn't really you know, capture my attention as much and neither did the box in the store uh, but there was a guy in there who had some and looking at them in, in real life that's what kind of uh, convinced me to, to purchase them because they are much better uh, than, than pictures of them or, or even anything on uh, you know on the on the box art and things like that so these are my flash kits uh, I've got an orc army it's not a huge one at all I mean I've got a stomper and you know uh, quite a lot of boys but uh, never really thought about getting any like looters or tank busters or flash kits or anything like that but now I think with these models I've there's there's a bit more of a purpose to do that now and obviously they're new new out so I'll just go through all of them. Uh, the options are, are awesome. I'd say the difficulty of making these models is probably a 2 out of 5. It's It, it might be a 3 out of 5 because there's a couple of complicated things, but it's quite simple, and if you break it down into steps, uh, it, it won't take very long at all. Um, the, the steps I did was I, I glued the, the feet and the torso uh, together, um, but I'd made a bit of a mistake. I followed their instructions, and I glued the neck and the head and I think if you do that last then you you can mix and match and you can you've got more control and the gun won't get in the way uh, so I did that first and that kind of limited my poses and things but if you do that last that's a good tip uh, the gun is like this one big um, unit that you just just add uh, pieces to and um, so the 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 two uh, you know parts of the gun on the, on the face of it you've got this this bit here you've got the barrel types you've got the ammo clip types you've even got these um casings that shoot out of the the weapon which, which looks blooming excellent i think it's nice to see that um games workshop are now adding a bit more um kind of active uh active effects to their models i think it's it's a really good uh, step in the right direction so i'll just go through the models individually then so this is the, I don't know why it isn't focusing today, but this is the captain with a K. Uh, I'm having to do this on my camera backwards at the moment, but I've equipped him with like quite a big um, gun there and then 
uh, secondary gun with some ammo and kind of exhaust pipes there. Uh, I like his boss pole and his little git finder thing, squig. And I put a sword on him. I think he looks really cool. Uh, and these are bigger than, than you'd think in real life. Uh, they're on the big Terminator bases and they are knobs after all. So they're not, I don't think looters are, are knobs, I think they're just normal boys. But these are knobs so they're, they're bigger models. Uh, this guy, he's got this um, another kind of type of machine gun thing and another machine gun barrel there. Uh, again with loads of cases flying out and his little git finder. Uh, this one again, I've gone for like quite a shooty kind of Dakar feel. Now he's got like a little bipod there and plenty of clips. So he's gone for that. Uh, this one. It's gone for like uh, rockets and like a little chainsaw thing going on, but they got he's got rocket clips. So you can imagine him firing like rockets out of this this weapon. He looks also got his little uh, pirate hat as well and a little boot. And finally, this one is I've kind of gone for like a mech type uh, plasma orc here with like a flamer or mega bla custom blaster thing going on here with the it's got like fuel or something there and then he's got like these plasma ammunition shells um, and he's got all these levels on and a little light probably a warning light and uh, like you know plasma kind of barrel there with um, another like with another like git finder thing going on and his bionic eye and he's got a bionic leg as well He's got some grenade ammunition, so maybe I should have put him on. Put should have put the grenade ammunition on one of the others. Now, one thing I will say about this um, this group set of models is I wasn't able to make the um, the tri barreled kind of machine gun for the for the captain because it didn't come with the the end of the barrels. Now I looked on my sprue and it. It doesn't look like I've clipped it off because there are three pieces around the part which don't look to be clipped. You can tell on a sprue where you've clipped things off and I don't remember clipping it off and I've looked everywhere. I've spent like hours trying to look for it literally. Um, so I don't think I've clipped it off so that might happen to you. I'm not saying it will but if you want to get that gun or use that gun it's, it's just you know it, it might be just something to do with my box set but what I would do is because there's a lot of parts in this box set and it is about 32 quid I'd strongly and from now on seeing as I've just um, witnessed a missing part is I would check all of your pieces on the sprues look at all the, sp all the sprues look at all the pieces in the sprue and just double check that you've got all of your pieces and if you haven't put it back in the box send it back to them or um, visit the store if, you, if you're able to and uh, they'll happily refund or, or exchange it for another box. Um, their return and refund policy is, is obviously incredible, as, as it always has been. So just, just a little mute point. But if you want to see a size comparison, I'll put some models uh, here just to give you an example. So this is like one of the normal orc knob, and you can already tell. I mean, height-wise, it's probably similar kind of height but it's just wider and obviously the bigger base and the bigger gun makes him look like a bit of a tank I don't know if you can see I'll try and zoom in for you but if you can see that he this the, the and that's what I couldn't get in the pictures like I just couldn't tell that it was so, so much more of a bigger model than your normal orc knob that you that you used to get uh, comparing it to an orc boy, well, yeah, they just they just tower over them. So on the battlefield, you you can easily spot them out and um, you know uh, spot the difference, kind of thing. Uh, I'll show you a couple of other uh, examples. So a mega knob. See there, it's obviously the same base. 
but say, say similar height, but because of the how big the gun is, they just look bigger than than a normal mega mega knob. Um, but these are the old ones, and I will be getting the new ones, uh, uh, and this weekend hopefully. Um, but there you go. That's that's just an example there of just how big these flash kits are. And finally, just some imperial um, comparisons. There's a normal Space Marine. It's, it, you know, dwarfs a space marine, really does. I mean, you can see, see it d absolutely dwarfs a space marine. That's not going to end up end well for him, is it? And a Terminator. Um, I'd probably say Terminator is a little bit bigger, but there's just more bulk. It seems to a to a um, flash kit. Just seems like there's you know a lot more bulk, but Terminator's probably a bit bit taller. So I hope that little comparison's helped you in terms of size, because I re really couldn't uh, tell from looking at the box and looking at the online store. So there you go. That's my uh, kind of like little unboxing and review of the Orc um, new box set flash kits. Uh, I think they do, like I said before, they cost you th about £32 uh, and I said before if you're on the fence, do it. Um, the spare parts that you get is in this bag, you can see you get a couple of arms spare, uh, you get a couple of the ammo clips and boss pole type items. You don't get an awful lot, you get a load of heads, spare heads, so you might want to you know, use those heads on normal orcs maybe if if the sizing if there isn't too if you can't really notice the difference between the size of their heads you might want to do that but they're all the spare parts I thought I'd show you show you them you don't get an awful lot um obviously nowhere near as much as like the stern guard um for a similar price I think they are I think, I think they're about 30 quid aren't they um but so yeah you, you don't get a lot of parts but yeah so customization now with these models, excellent. You've got so many choices of different barrels and you know gun ends and just different combinations with different looking orcs. Uh, I'm definitely going to be getting another box set of these, but it's going to be quite a while long, you know, long after I paint these up, um, because I was very impressed with these models, very impressed with the customization and what you get uh, and how big they are as well. And the rules are pretty good for them. They're snaz guns. Um, have some quite interesting random effects and you could quite easily put these in into a, a Gorkonaut and just you know pop them out and then they could just mow down uh, I think they all get three shots each they're assault three and um, their armor pen I think they're strength five but their armor penetration is you roll a d6 for the whole squad so you might get one you might get three you might get six you know but at least you're getting 15 shots there uh, and they've all got two wounds so they're they're, they're pretty good uh, yeah like I said if you're on the fence do it because they they're, they're bigger in in real life and uh, I really enjoyed making them and I'll obviously enjoy painting them so thanks for joining me today for the unboxing and review I'll try and get you the uh, mega knobs for me to review next week I'll try um, but if not it'll probably be the um, Warhammer rulebook uh, review which obviously I only did a bit of an overview video the other day so I'll try and get, get you them next week if I can uh, anyway thanks again for joining me today thanks for watching The Emperor Protects